Another way to determine the strength of a linear relationship is by looking at the linear correlation coefficient. The linear correlation coefficient, r, measures the strength of a linear relationship between two variables in a data set. So the number r is actually calculated from the values in the data. But for right now, we're not going to look at actually calculating it. We're just going to look at the relationship between r and the scatter plot. So the possible values of r are anything between negative 1 and positive 1. A negative value of r indicates a negative relationship between the two variables. A positive value indicates a positive relationship. The closer r is to 0, the weaker the linear relationship is. To get an idea of how r helps us determine the strength of the relationship, we can look at our values for a data set with approximately 20 data points. So for a data set like this, an r value between negative 0.7 and positive 0.7 indicates a weak relationship or no linear relationship. An r value between negative 0.7 and negative 0.9, or between 0.7 and 0.9, indicates a moderate linear relationship and a value between negative 0.9 and negative 1, or between 0.9 and 1, indicates a strong linear relationship. And again, the closer r is to either negative 1 or positive 1, the stronger the relationship is. Let's look at some scatter plots and look at the r values that go with them. Here's a scatter plot we looked at before. This is a perfect positive linear relationship. So the r value for this would be positive 1. This one is a perfect negative linear relationship because it's absolutely in a straight line. So the r value for that is negative 1. Now in this scatter plot, there is no relationship at all. So the r value for this would actually be 0. So if the r value is 0 or, or close to 0, then we just say there's no relationship. For this scatter plot, we can see that the data is going down as it goes from left to right. So this would have a negative relationship. And we can see that there's somewhat of a straight line pattern. The r value for this data is actually negative 0.846. Remember, the negative indicates the negative relationship. 0.846 would tell us that we have a moderate negative relationship. And again, the values that we looked at on the last slide work for a data set with approximately 20 values. For more data values or less data values, it, it changes those cutoff points a little bit. But this one would be a moderate negative relationship. In this one, we have a positive relationship because the data points are going up as we go from left to right. This one looks a little bit stronger than the one over here. This fits a straight line pattern better. So we would expect the r value to be fairly close to 1. The r value for this one is actually 0.95. So we would call this a strong positive relationship. Here's another one. In this one, you can kind of see that the data is going down from left to right somewhat, but this would be a very weak relationship, or maybe no relationship. So the r value for this one is actually negative 0.35. In this one, we can see that the data is trending up from left to right. Again, this is not a very strong relation, but it's a stronger one than the last one we looked at. 
the R value for this one turns out to be 0.635. So we would call this a weak positive relation. And finally we have this one. Now this one we do have something very close to a straight line and it's going down from left to right. So this one is going to have a negative R value and it should be close to negative 1. This one turns out to be negative 0.996. So this one we would call a strong negative relation, actually a very strong negative relation.